Okay, I just wanted to take a couple of minutes to show you how to use the tea table. Along the top here, you see confidence levels of 90, 95, 98, and 99. If you have a sample standard deviation and you're using the T table, you can construct a confidence interval. And we'll get to the hypothesis tests next week. But if you're doing a confidence interval, let's say you have a sample size of 16, your degrees of freedom will always be n minus 1 for the one sample test. So that'll be n minus 6, 16 minus 1 would be 15, and if you're doing a 95% confidence interval, that'll be 2.131. Let's say you had a sample size of 30, and you want a 90% confidence interval. So I'm in the 90% confidence interval. Since n is 30, I'll go down to 29 degrees of freedom. That's 1.699. So whenever you have a sample standard deviation and a t, this goes to a degrees of freedom equal to 100. So it, with as long as you have a sample size less than that and a sample standard deviation, that's the key, sample standard deviation, then you, you can use this table to get t values. For larger samples with a sample standard deviation, um, your calculator can be used to uh, calculate exact confidence intervals and so on. Or you can see that as we get to infinity, we get the values here. Every row goes down to this. So if you have to work something by hand, just go down and use the value in the bottom row there. And so the other thing on this bottom row, which more importantly, is, and this didn't line up for me quite right. This, this last row, um, row of numbers here are z values. So if you have a problem with a population standard deviation, you're estimating the mean. Or if you have a problem where you're dealing with confidence interval for proportions, a confidence interval for proportions, then just use this bottom row here. You don't correct for degrees of freedom if you have population standard deviation, nor do you correct for degrees of freedom if you have proportions. Just go to this row. You can get those off the actual Z table, but this is a lot more convenient for getting these uh, these values. And I suggest that you use use it.